Good afternoon, Cubes of the Cash. Gary B, the Casual Comic Guy here. And today, guys, I'm here with a special preview and review, overview of the book Marcus, put out by Reggie Simmons Soldier Publishing, written by Scott Palachik, with art by Chase Cohen, uh, letters by Elizabeth Charlin, and edited by Reggie himself. And this is a fun tale which takes you on a journey with this reporter named Carmen Gentile. And uh, he is narrating this tale to you and you have the side view of sitting right next to him like you're being told this firsthand and it's in black and white which already sells me on the book I love black and white storytelling the art by Chase Cohen's great the story by Scott uh, Palachuk is fantastic and as the narration begins, the reporter, Carmen Gentile, who does uh, war reporting, combat reporting, he's always in the front lines. He is telling you about his experience and this fascination he had with this historical figure named Mark, Marcus Longinus, who was blind in one eye, wasn't allowed to carry the cross that bore Jesus. And when Jesus was up on the cross, he pierced his side with the spear and... Um, to grant Jesus uh, mercy and but the blood cured his blindness and it gave him immortal life and his spear became known as the spear of destiny and that is it for uh, what he used to study then we're brought into the modern day he's done telling us about something he used to study and he's arriving at a new place and I'm gonna try to keep things vague because I don't want to spoil anything for you guys but he's at a new battlefront getting incorporated into a new squad of soldiers and they kind of look down on them especially the sergeant um and the sergeant really doesn't want anything to do with him they kind of view him as a Taurus these guys are living and fighting each day on the front line trying to stay alive trying to win the battle and they kind of view him as a Taurus taking pictures and he understands that and even though this guy is kind of harsh He's also uh, very realistic, and it's up to this reporter, Carmen Gentile, to earn his place in this squad and not be looked at and looked down upon. And whenever they're ready to move, he's got to move with them. And he tells he tells the general uh, what he's chasing. I mean, the commander, Commander Blake, what he's chasing, and Commander Blake calls it Carmen's unicorn. All right, he's chasing his unicorn. All right, he may be here. Suit up, you're coming with us. We're going on this mission. And he keeps going. And he's looking for this one guy. And in one of these missions, and again, guys, I have to keep it vague. I'm going to keep publishing things over here for you. But he meets a guy that looks awful familiar to him. And he asks, asks him, and the guy had stated that his name was Marcus. And he asks him if he knows him or has seen him from someplace before. In which the guy states, no, you haven't. And he's just not buying it. He goes, I know, I know him. And as he's trying to put it together, they get get called to go support this other troop. And when they arrive there, an IED is launched. And thankfully, it's a dud. It doesn't explode, but it does a lot of damage. And he gets hit in the face. He's blinded in one eye. And you found out you find out that it's a hit on him. He was supposed to die in that. And there's a shadowy figure that's called the Pale Shadow that is trying to off him. And it's going to take care of himself. Now, this is a well-paced tale. The art is absolutely gorgeous. I know I left things very vague, but man, I can't spoil this for you. you got to find out for yourself. It's only $5.99, a cover price book. You can get it at Soldier Publishing. I'll leave the link in the description below. But you're left with questions, right? And, like, how is the immortal Mar Marcus involved, right? Um, how will uh, Carmen recover from losing sight in one eye? And why is Carmen considered a threat? All right, so you have all this that's set up just in issue one. And what is this eternal war that he is trying to get in the middle of and stop? You're seeing two sides and... Um, there's a lot of gray area in between. So there's a lot to be fleshed out. The great introduction of Carmen. 
And based on a real uh, combat journalist that Scott Palachik knows, and he also has a book out called Blindsided by the Taliban. Uh, so you can read about this real character that was put and written into this comic by Scott Palachik. And also embedded throughout the comic are QR codes that take you to songs that are hand-picked and hand-curated by Scott Palachik himself to give you a more immersive experience with this comic. Now, I've read this comic four or five times now. It's, it's excellent. It has a great setup. It leaves you wanting more. It leaves you feeling um, very empathetic to this reporter. And you're invested in him, you're invested in the story, and you're invested in this mystery that they set up through this book. Uh, it is a great introduction, well-paced, with a great cliffhanger, and it leaves you with questions that you want answered. But again, this is on Soldier Publishing, and hopefully you guys go check it out. I have all the links down in the description below. Thank you so, for mu so much for checking this out, and as always, keep it casual.